You seem upset that I brought it up. I feel like <clears throat> sometimes when niggas like we going through shit, like y'all be entertained by bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. So it's like change the subject. I'm finna walk out. We we'll change which subject? Just whatever. Like, well, no, they the- tried to change the subject. They was talking about the moon landing. That's bullshit too. So uh-huh. talk about something else. Well, I was saying I, I think we don't I th- have to talk about nothing else. We could be done right here. All right, I'm going. Say less. That's a bummer. Uh, I don't know. I don't, people don't tell me what to talk about on me. Focus on me. Like what you see. Like what you see. We going hard. We going hard. Let me know me. Boy. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, look. We doing something different today, man. We going to talk about Kodak Black. And we going to talk about Ebro. Because obviously... Y'all been seeing it, man, going online. <clears throat> Everybody talking about this Kodak Black interview with Hot 97, with Ebro, Peter Rosenberg, and Laura Styles. Now, I just got done watching this interview, man. And it's like 17 minutes long. And Kodak Black is basically going on this press run where he's, you know, promoting his album. He got an album that's dropping actually at midnight tonight. So he's actually going around promoting this album. The album is actually called Dying to Live, and he's dropping it tonight, like I said, midnight. And so, you know, he's doing his press run. So he landed at Hot 97's doorstep with Ebro and Peter and Laura. And so they get into the interview, and you could tell, like, Kodak Black really ain't the interview type. He probably doing this just because of the label, like, yo, you need to get out here and promote this album. He on the rollout. He going to the, the, the different places to talk about what's going on with the project. And so Ebro, the interview was okay, actually. It wasn't a bad interview. I feel like they kind of navigated around a lot of stuff. But Kodak Black, you can tell he's really not into the interviews. Like, you can tell he's just a real street dude. He just want to make some music, probably, you know, chill with his people, do his thing. He really not into all of the lights and stuff like that and the cameras and being in front of the camera you can just tell he just want to drop his music let his fans consume the music how they want to and do it like that you know what i'm saying but you know ebro gets into towards the end of the interview at the beginning he he talked about a little bit of the cases here and there blah 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 but towards the end he bring it back around and he's talking about the case that kodak black actually got to go to uh court for next year in 2019 uh regarding a sexual assault case that he had you know what i'm saying and it's a very serious case because he's facing up to 30 years in prison allegedly to according to the sources that you know i seen so it's a very serious topic for him you know what i'm saying and so ebro basically says like we take this this stuff serious around here we don't condone none of that type of stuff so kodak really don't say too much you know what i'm saying you know and then peter says something about you know the moon landing do you think it's fake blah 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 Kodak like what the fuck y'all talking about you know what I'm saying like and so <laughs> Ebro like it seemed like you a little bit upset about you know what we said he was like bro like I feel like y'all take you know this stuff lightly like it's just entertainment so Kodak is really you know fighting for his life right now like I said like according to what I seen he's facing up to 30 years you know what I'm saying so this ain't nothing to play around with so he was like, man, if y'all gonna talk about that, y'all can find something else to talk about, man, or I'm out of here. And so, Ebro like, what? Like, bruh, like, we tried to change the subject, talking about the moon landing. And he was like, bruh, that's bullshit. So he like, bruh, you're not gonna tell me what to talk about. You know what I'm saying? He was like, all right, well, I'm out then. So, everybody talking about it on the internet right now. I feel my personal opinion is, I think with Kodak Black, like, it's just a touchy subject because he's actually going through it now. And I know he's probably not trying to just focus on that. Like he said, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. Like, he said he don't want to believe in karma, saying that a lot of the bad stuff that he did in the past might catch up with him. But at the same time, he do kind of believe in karma. Like, he want to put out more good energy so the world can soften up to him. Like he said, like, he feel like the world don't, don't shine light on the vultures. They don't accept them. They don't, you know, embrace them. So he feels like, you know, he's probably, you know, according to society from the places that the people don't care about, you know what I'm saying? So 
But I think it's a very interesting interview. You know what I'm saying? Kodak Black uh, has a real uh, vibe to him. You feel what I'm saying? Like, he, you can tell that he's a real guy. He's not like a, a industry artist where he's been groomed and stuff like that to speak. And so he's very raw and he gives it very, like, from his perspective. And he don't really, like, sugarcoat nothing. So, but I feel like Ebro, he, as far as, like, you can't let somebody dictate your interview. You know what I'm saying? With him being around for years and years, that's something that he just state, stated his, his case on. Like, bro, we'll talk about what we want to talk about here. It's up to you whether you want to answer the question or not. You know what I'm saying? But you're not going to dictate where we're going to go with this interview. And I think that was also, like, from his perspective of being an OG, talking to a young cat, like, bro, like, you're just not going to come here and do that. So I did feel like it was kind of like a little bit of, like, not aggression, but... I'm 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 holding firm on what I believe in as well. Like you're just not gonna come here and do that. But at the same time, man, Kodak Black, he got an album dropping. Like I said tonight, he got a lot going on in his world, and I can just kind of, I would imagine that he just want to focus on the music right now. That's the biggest thing. Of course, being an artist myself, you know that the music is the main outlet for you. You know what I'm saying? And that's where you can find your therapy. That's where you can, you know, feel at home. So he probably didn't even want to talk about that. So. But if y'all want to watch the video, I'll go ahead and link the interview down below, you know what I'm saying, so y'all can check it out, you know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Like, do y'all think Ebro, you know, went too far? Or do you think Kodak Black was, you know, justified in how he felt about everything? But you already know what it is, man. It's your boy Laid Back, man. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and all that cool stuff, man. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one, man. Fire Squad was popping. Until next time. Hey, bow! Boo, 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 boo.